In the crucible of the Israel-Hamas conflict, the deployment of the U.S. Gerald Ford catapults the United States into a high-stakes role, packed with $13 billion worth of cutting-edge naval prowess. This formidable aircraft carrier, armed with nuclear propulsion and American fighter jets, signifies a seismic shift in U.S. involvement as tensions peak in the wake of a large-scale campaign by Palestinian militant groups. The region braces for a new chapter marked by the unmistakable shadow of military might and geopolitical complexities. The Israel-Hamas conflict is deeply rooted in a complex historical, political, and religious context. Decades of unresolved territorial disputes, ethnic tensions, and conflicting national narratives have fueled the persistent cycle of violence in the region. The recent escalation saw an upsurge in aggression from Palestinian militant groups, marked by rocket attacks and incursions into Israeli territory. In response, Israel employed a strategy characterized by airstrikes and ground operations, leading to a troubling escalation with severe humanitarian consequences. The conflict's multifaceted nature, entwined with historical grievances and contemporary geopolitical dynamics, underscores the formidable challenges in finding a lasting resolution to the tensions between Israel and Hamas. The deployment of the U.S. Gerald Ford serves as a potent symbol of the enduring alliance between the United States and Israel. Beyond being a mere demonstration of military support, it represents a reaffirmation of the deep geopolitical ties that have historically bound these two nations. The significance of dispatching such a formidable naval asset goes beyond immediate military necessity. It signals a commitment to the security and stability of the region. The U.S. Gerald Ford, equipped with state-of-the-art capabilities, stands ready to bolster Israel's naval strength significantly. In a conflict landscape where control of the sea holds strategic importance, the deployment of this advanced aircraft carrier provides Israel with a formidable advantage. The carrier's advanced technology, including nuclear propulsion, sensors, and a complement of American fighter jets, enhances Israel's maritime capabilities and acts as a deterrent against potential adversaries. The move underscores not only the military partnership between the U.S. and Israel, but also the broader commitment to maintaining stability in a region fraught with geopolitical complexities. The U.S. Gerald Ford stands as a technological marvel, its advanced nuclear propulsion system endowing it with unparalleled endurance and operational range. This cutting-edge technology not only ensures extended mission durations, but also allows the aircraft carrier to swiftly respond to dynamic and evolving conflict scenarios. The carrier's sophisticated sensor systems further elevate its capabilities, providing real-time intelligence that enhances situational awareness for both itself and its ally forces. This wealth of information becomes crucial in navigating complex and fast-paced military engagements, enabling precise strategic decision-making. The complement of American fighter jets and launch systems on board the U.S. Gerald Ford adds another layer of strategic significance. These aircraft, equipped with advanced weaponry and operated by highly trained personnel, offer Israel a potent deterrent against further aggression. The carrier's ability to project power and respond rapidly to emerging threats reinforces the concept of military deterrence sending a clear message to potential adversaries about the formidable capabilities at the disposal of the United States and its allies. In the volatile context of the Israel-Hamas conflict, the U.S. Gerald Ford emerges as not just a vessel, but a pivotal tool in shaping the geopolitical landscape and ensuring the security of allied nations. The deployment of the U.S. Gerald Ford in the Israel-Hamas conflict marks a pivotal moment in the broader geopolitical landscape, particularly in the Middle East. Historically recognized as a region of paramount strategic importance, the Middle East has been a focal point of global attention due to its geopolitical complexities and energy resources. The involvement of a U.S. aircraft carrier signifies a deepening commitment to regional stability, emphasizing the United States' role as a key player in shaping the dynamics of the region. The presence of such a formidable military asset sends a clear and assertive message to other actors in the region. It underscores the consequences of actions that may destabilize the delicate balance of power, signaling that the United States is willing to protect its interests and those of its allies. The deployment serves as a tangible manifestation of the United States' commitment to maintaining order and preventing further escalation of conflicts that could have ripple effects throughout the region. In this context, the U.S. Gerald Ford becomes not just a military tool, but a symbol of American influence and a factor in shaping the geopolitical calculus of nations in the Middle East. The enduring alliance between the United States and Israel stands as a cornerstone of American foreign policy in the Middle East 
reflecting shared values, strategic interests, and historical ties. This partnership extends far beyond mere military cooperation, encompassing intelligence sharing, economic collaboration, and a shared commitment to democratic principles. The deployment of the U.S. Gerald Ford becomes a tangible manifestation of the depth of this alliance. It symbolizes the United States' unwavering commitment to safeguarding its ally, Israel, in the face of external threats. This military gesture goes beyond the immediate conflict, underlining a broader strategic alignment between the two nations. The sharing of intelligence fosters a collaborative approach to security challenges, enhancing the capabilities of both nations in addressing common threats. Economically, the U.S.-Israel partnership has flourished, with trade and investment playing integral roles in strengthening bilateral ties. Moreover, the common adherence to democratic values forms a fundamental bond, reinforcing the shared commitment to principles of freedom, human rights, and democratic governance. In deploying the U.S. Gerald Ford, the United States not only provides tangible military support, but also reaffirms a comprehensive and multifaceted alliance, emphasizing the intertwined interests and values that bind these two nations in a critical and volatile region. The deployment of the U.S. Gerald Ford, while showcasing unwavering support for Israel, has not been immune to criticism. Detractors argue that such a substantial military intervention may have adverse consequences, exacerbating tensions, and potentially escalating the conflict further. The concern is rooted in the delicate balance of power in the region, and some fear that increased military presence could intensify the adversarial dynamics rather than contributing to a peaceful resolution. Central to the criticism are worries about civilian casualties and the broader humanitarian impact of an intensified conflict. The Israel-Hamas conflict has already taken a toll on civilian lives and infrastructure, and the deployment of a powerful aircraft carrier raises concerns about the potential for greater collateral damage. Internationally and within the United States, voices have emerged calling for a more nuanced and diplomatic approach to address the complexities of the conflict without further endangering civilian populations. The decision to deploy the U.S. Gerald Ford has ignited a debate about the appropriate level of American involvement in conflicts beyond its immediate sphere of influence. Critics question the potential long-term consequences and whether such military actions align with broader diplomatic efforts or risk undermining them. As the debate unfolds, the necessity of carefully weighing the benefits and risks of military interventions in complex geopolitical scenarios remains a crucial consideration for policymakers and the public alike. Amidst the escalating military tensions in the Israel-Hamas conflict, a crucial imperative emerges for robust diplomatic efforts to secure a sustainable resolution. The international community, represented prominently by the United Nations and key regional stakeholders, must actively engage in de-escalating tensions and fostering dialogue between the conflicting parties. While the deployment of the U.S. Gerald Ford underscores the United States' commitment to its ally, it should not eclipse the indispensable role of diplomatic channels in resolving the underlying issues. The United Nations, with its global mandate for peace and security, holds a pivotal position in facilitating multilateral dialogues and negotiations. Regional players, given their proximity and contextual understanding, can contribute significantly to brokering agreements and promoting reconciliation. Diplomatic initiatives should not only aim at immediate ceasefires, but also delve into addressing the root causes of the conflict, acknowledging historical grievances, and working towards a comprehensive and lasting solution. As the Israel-Hamas conflict and the deployment of the U.S. Gerald Ford unfold, the world watches with bated breath, cognizant of the profound implications for regional stability. The intersection of historical grievances geopolitical alliances, and military power underscores the intricate dance of diplomacy and force. The need for a nuanced approach becomes imperative, balancing military support with diplomatic finesse. In the aftermath of destruction and human suffering, the international community must redouble efforts towards lasting peace. The U.S. Gerald Ford, an emblem of American strength, becomes not just a participant in the conflict, but a symbol of the delicate balance required in navigating the complexities of the ever-evolving Middle East.